Hello and welcome to our training. My name is Sophie and I will lead you through the training today. Today is all about getting to know the basic features of Presono. We'll look at how to access the tool, use presentations and how to share them. First of all, it is important to keep in mind the basic principle of Presono. Presono is based on the so-called single source principle. This means that each content exists only once, but can be reused as often as needed. Each element, no matter if template, slide or media file, exists only once. If the element is used, it is only a link and can therefore be updated very easily. So when a slide is updated, it is automatically updated in all presentations in which it appears. The same applies to images, videos and templates. In this way, all users will always have the latest version. Presentations in Presono also consist of different slides that can be compiled or linked to each other. The slides are based on templates, template sets, that define the design framework and the appearance. Presentations can be clicked through linearly, operated interactively, or used by a combination of both ways. The path of a presentation is saved as a so-called session and is an image of your held presentation. Presentations and sessions can be exported as PDF or shared as a web link. In addition, you can even analyze who has viewed which content via the sent link. Presono can be used in the browser or as an app on PCs, tablets and smartphones. With the apps, it is also possible to work and present offline. The access is done in the browser or the app via my.presono.com or the company's own Presono login. After logging in, you will be redirected to the dashboard. This gives you quick access to your most important and recently used presentations. On the left, you will find the main navigation bar of Presono. You can expand and collapse it by clicking on the Presono logo. Via this menu, you can access the main areas of Presono, the dashboard, the content management, sessions, and the analytics of shared contents. Help and settings are also available. When you switch to the content, you will have access to all the content that has been made available to you. To find content, either use the search bar at the top or the filters on the left. As filters, you can use content types, workspaces or categories. These can be combined with each other and with the search bar to find your content. A workspace is the storage location of content and it controls the access rights of users to the content in it. So you may have more rights in some workspaces than in others. Categories are used for the thematic assignment of contents. Every content, no matter if presentation, slide or media file, has at least one, but can be assigned to as many categories as you like. Workspaces and categories can be individualized, but this function is usually reserved for users with more rights or admins. To use a presentation, first filter for presentations. Then you may use other filters or the search bar to further narrow the search results. When you've found your presentation, open it with a double click. 
Now you are in the presentation view. On the left, all slides that are directly included in the presentation are visible. In the upper left corner, you can choose between different language versions of the presentation if your company works in multiple languages. Mark presentations that are important to you as favorites by clicking on the star icon, which will make the presentation appear on your dashboard. At the bottom, it is possible to add notes to the slide. These notes will appear when you present with the presenter mode. To start the presentation, click on Start in the upper right corner or choose one of the options in the drop-down menu. To navigate through your presentation, you have several options. Move forward or backward with the spacebar or the arrow keys left and right on your keyboard. A presenter can also be used, of course. On a touch device, use swipe gestures. In Presono, it's also possible to create interactive presentations. If you have a presentation prepared like this, you can click on different contents with your mouse and navigate through the presentation that way. This can be used to open overlays or jump to other slides. If you need other content during the presentation, open the content management by pressing the Enter key to insert additional content. If you are asked a question about a topic that was not prepared beforehand, you can easily find and insert the corresponding slide, presentation or media. To end the presentation, use the Enter menu or the Escape key. Once you finish the presentation, you are forwarded to the session view. The session is an exact image of your held presentation. All opened overlays and inserted slides or media are also included. This held presentation can now be sent easily, either as a PDF or as an interactive web link. The same options are also available for presentations. The overview of all sessions is always accessible via the main menu on the left. A similar overview can be found for shared content. Here, all sessions and presentations which have been shared as a link, can be accessed. For each individual link sent, it is possible to precisely analyze the usage. To sum it up, we've looked together at how to navigate through the tool, find, show and send a presentation. Now we've reached the end of our training today. In our YouTube channel, you will find more training videos. If you have any further questions, um, visit our knowledge base. In there, you can also register for our Q&A webinars. And now have fun.